no matter how you try to support the government of the day, if you like, continue to say what they want to hear because you are looking for one thing. In reality, you know that, or within your conscience, you know that you are deceiving yourself because you go back to suffer what you are not, the truth you are supposed to tell them, you are not telling them, you come back and suffer it. And that is the case of this, uh, uh, Ayo Fayoshi, his brother Isaac Fayoshi, is not telling uh, Bajabia Miller that uh, he should fix Nigeria. That if he cannot fix Nigeria, he himself and his cohorts cannot fix Nigeria, they should resign. He's calling us Bajabia Miller because of this uh, social media of a thing. You think uh, you people can play politics? See, if you like, you support them. If you like, you uh, uh, abuse oppositions uh, that you don't like them. You are trying to be relevant or get something from the government of the day. Your people are there. You too, you are suffering. You are suffering. You are not even in government. In one way or the other, you are suffering. But come out and be pretending that uh, it is in our you they do. I've been article now, you did do. <laughs> oh my God. Those ones are just cashing crews because they are not going to suffer. Isaac Fayoshi, the brother of the former governor of Ikiti State, a slam president, Bola Tinumbu's chief of staff, Femi Bajabia Mila for calling social media a menace. Bajabia Mila during a book launch in Lagos State on Thursday, February 8, 2024, berated the menace of social media in disseminating fake and wrong information, which has almost turned the country apart and caused violence in some states. Oh. In order to, so the money that you people are stealing is not turning, it's not a menace. Looting here and there, all the people around all of you, even you too, do you know how many allegations that have been levied against you? No, those ones are not menace. Money meant for the people, many money meant to build hospitals, to build schools. And at the end of the day, people are losing their lives, people are miserable. No, all those ones are not menace. He stressed the need to regularize the framework of news dissemination on social media to avoid misinformation in the country. He also emphasized the importance of data in policy formulation for the growth of the country, stating that no developing country can succeed without adequate and well-informed data. All the NIN they did suffer people at the end of the day. The people, These people are having their feed, the, the bandits collecting ransom, calling people here and there. They, you cannot track them because uh, just to be using some kind of words using English now man go the sweet I mean why it's different from uh, the reality from reality it's unfortunate mm -hmm. <laughs> okay mm. now wow meanwhile reacting via his uh, Instagram page Isaac stated that he is not afraid of three years imprisonment of Bajabia Miller he urged Bajabia Miller to resign if he cannot fix Nigeria. He wrote, Who they fear three years in prison? A gun fake Bajabia Miller beg. We no fear you. If you cannot fix Nigeria, you can resign. <laughs> Bajabia Miller must remember that uh, during the regimes of Babangida, Shenekon, Abata, Jonathan Anwari, it was the Western Nigerian media houses and Yoruba personalities was leading Nigeria's social media news propagations, whether it was propaganda or genuine news, and it was mostly accepted, and it helped Nigeria in several ways. President Tinubu himself, as a Nadeko chief, led most of the protests against bad government decisions, especially when President Jonathan's government increased for subsidy. The media is doing well and deserve commendation, but Jabia Mela should be sincere to Nigerians. He is not even meant to serve only because of the juicy benefits involved, but to serve effectively and efficiently or sincerely. This is senseless comment, uh, comment from Isaac Fayoshi. Okay. With the amount of salary the lawmakers are earning as salary without creating just better the economy, someone needs to receive bullets on their leg or hand for them to learn this actually brother honestly is very idle he doesn't even have a life outside social media he talks anyhow that even a toddler cannot even talk like him and evil cooks desperados will never resign for all senseless miserable cost tribal religious morals that brought this evil it shall not be well with them only greedy and wicked politicians will take 
uh, come with frivolous excuses to control the social media space because Nigerians expose that the uh, what they are doing regularizing the social media space today is not what Nigerians sent you there to do for them fix the country or the problem or the economy problems you created with your hands make sure Nigerians are comfortable and see if Nigerians will boggle boggle using social media developed countries are not even talking about their countries about their countries because life there is a, a bit better or far far way better they have other things to concentrate on the code of war okay this one is talking about uh, whatever the question is who is the president of the federation of the republic of nigeria tinubu or baja tinubu will never resign we had the option uh, option of leaking the melted sugar or that of bitter leaf we choose to drink bitter leaf it is wrong for you to say it is from the opposition party please for the months APC has been on seat, be truthful to yourself. And Nigerians have have your party done. Have your party done well. Do not allow the anger of God to take you out of the surface of the earth. All of them will pay in one way or the other. All of them and those who are pretending see this truck bedding mouths. Why is it that it is only APC government that fights with social media? They say a clear conscience. Fears no accusations. If people lie against you on social media, go to court. Bujabia Mila, are you saying people are not hungry? Cost of living is unbearable. Insecurity is alarming. Hypocrites. When you hire people to go talk good about your government on social media, it is not menace. But when people, when they use it as a means to inform you about the failures of your government, it becomes menace. Mm. This uh, man just see people die with their riches and can't even see clearly. God is even sending warning that no one is too big to go under six feet. But you mean that be warned. God, God is watching you. This one fix Nigeria. I be destroy Nigeria. He expect them to fix Nigeria because they are destroying Nigeria and Nigerians are calling them out and that is why they are talking about gagging. The social media. Okay, he better resign so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good talk, bunch criminals. You can't even give what you don't have. Here we have. Okay. Um, where we have? Where we go again? So, guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.